Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. We're uh, shooting some 24 gauge slugs here. Using a Fioki hole, 20 grains of long shot, Shadot primer, the base off an SG24 uh, wad, and the Lyman 20 gauge Sabo slug. Completely unmodified. They are full bore in 24 gauge. This is an Ivor Johnson Champion in 24 gauge. One of my favorite shotguns, what'd you do? I rolled that log back on my foot. That sucks. We're gonna be shooting these at roughly 25 yards and just having a good old friendly competition to see who can outdo each other with uh, groups. Now these are pretty accurate. We shot these in the uh, 4th of July video we did back on the 4th of July. And at 15 yards, we both had holes touching. That's pretty good. We're gonna run the first one over a chronograph just to see the velocity. Should be around 1300 FPS. Let's get to it. That's pretty good. Yeah. That actually had a, a really good kick to it too. I felt that one. That's good. That felt just like the 12 we were shooting a minute ago. That gun is heavy, of course. This one here is a lot. Yeah. Hole is fine. I just need to make one correction. That was a four-fifths ounce slug, not three-quarter. I've got five of these things. I'm just gonna sit here and try to take my time and throw them down there and try to make a good pattern, I guess. Y'all bear with me. That hammer spring's ridiculous. Hard to pull back. I have no clue where that went. Oh. I think it is um, bottom center. Oh, okay. Here you go. Sometimes the shells get stuck in the chamber on this gun. So <laughs> I, I have a socket extension on hand for it. Knock it right out. There's that one. That's old what gun. happens. Hall's fine. I mean, it's yeah. just... Old gun. Yep. Weak spring. Second one. Where's my hole at? Bottom oh, center. It. Bottom of paper almost. Yep. I guess that's now my new point of aim. <laughs> Uh, aim right where you were aiming before. Got you. Right beside it. About touching, ain't it? Yeah. Same spot again. I think, I think it is. I'm starting to wonder if I'm just putting through the same hole or completely missing. No idea. Either way. I know you're hitting it though. Yeah. Last one. That one got off on me a little early. It's I'd about say. three inches from the other. Yeah. Oh well, let's walk down here and look. So it turns out he only got two hits on paper. Um, they're going low. There's a strike right there, center of the camera, and it looks like it's blowing shrapnel up and hitting the paper. That's what we were seeing because none of these other things are slug holes. So the gun's printing low. I'll have to aim high. Yep. All right, guys, it's my turn now. Um, his shots were going low. Last time we shot these, I was using uh, 19 grains of HS6 with the same slug. And like I said, at 15 yards, you guys saw it on video, if you saw the video, both of us had holes touching. These don't seem to be any accurate at all. But I'm shooting the exact same load he was. I'm gonna aim high center. Looks like it's dead center. I'm not used to bench resting stuff. Good thing it's a log. Yep. A 
Looks like that one's three inches from it, but I could be completely wrong. That one got my collarbone. That kind of hurt a little bit. That little thing's snappy. Yeah. I contribute a lot of that to being a small frame, like a 28 or something. It's a full-size gun. Well, 20-gauge frame. It's, I wouldn't call it full-size. No, it's... It's petite. It's light as a feather, too. Well, guys, I can tell you right now, his group's better than mine. If he's got three on paper. I can only see one hole, though. I must have, like, really bad eyes compared to you or something. I can't say. I ain't looked. I'm just... All right, that one got stuck on me. Smoky. All right, let's see here. They all look good. All righty, let's walk down here and see how you done. So his two are right here. Mine are this one down here, this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one, or something like that. I don't know, but I got five on it and I only you know, got two, so you win. I guess I win, but I'm not happy with the uh, the grouping. Uh, we might try this again with HS6 one day, and uh, I know that's a good load, because like I said, both of us had holes touching at 15 yards. That is, uh, honestly, it's not great. Die it right. It died that. all right. <laughs> no, all right, guys. We want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. As always, we really appreciate that. If you got any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. We both read them. And until next time, have a good one. So as I've mentioned a few times in this video, the uh, loads we were using in the 4th of July video was with HS6. I believe it was 19 grains of it. And, uh, we had holes touching, like I've mentioned before. Um, this time, I was using 20 grains of long shot, and while the velocity was amazing, and the, pellet, uh, the slugs were not tumbling, I wasn't happy with the accuracy. Seems HS6 is the way to go. Um, we're gonna do some testing in the future. If you guys wanna stay tuned, using Blue Dot, just to see what that does. Blue Dot always performs good. As does IMR Blue. But uh, I'll come up with the powder charge. I'm thinking 22, 23 grains of blue dot for that gun, and it's going to be good to go with a 4 fifths ounce slug. The energy on that was... So it's pretty respectable. 24 gauge seems to like the Lyman 20 gauge Sabo slug. As full bore, of course. But anyway, we want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. We always appreciate that. If you got any questions, comments, leave it in the comment section below. We will get back to you, um, and we'll see you the next one.